Good morning guys. Welcome back to another episode of Handbone Fishing. Today we are fishing the Queen City Kayak Bass Fishing event like uh, seven or eight I guess on the season. Um, we're doing the Catawba Clash which is basically seven different seven or like nine different lakes and you get to pick wherever you want to go and so I'm out here on Lake Norman. Um, you know it's middle of summer. It's end of June and honestly the water actually isn't too bad it's about 81 degrees and we had some rain recently so water shouldn't be too bad uh it's really not low anymore um so hoping to find some deeper fish um you know targeting some of the deeper docks and that kind of thing so we're gonna start with some top water of course it's really overcast so we might get some rain a little bit later today but i doubt it and I think it's gonna remain overcast for most of the day, so that might help the top water bite. And uh, you know, we'll kind of see what happens from there. So stay tuned. There's one. That's that's a better one. That's one of the ones I'm looking for there. That's a decent one right there. Nice. Alright, this guy's just 14 and 3 quarters, so I'm gonna need to replace him. What the fuck, dude? There we go. I don't think he's going to measure. That one didn't even measure. That's one we're looking for right there, baby. That's one we're looking for. Alright, 16 and a half inch largemouth. On the sassy stick. Going back. Oh, he's gonna do a dent. No. Alright guys, just caught a 16 and a half inch largemouth under a dock, so um, just on a sassy stick. Um, he was pretty shallow. I think, you know, as the day goes on, I'm gonna find some of these fish a little more shallow uh, there's a lot of brim up I'm getting a lot of brim bites and um, I think that's gonna be that's kind of a, a good thing almost um, just because there's a lot of bait up and uh, I'm just gonna keep hitting these docks and uh, looking for some big spots and I mean if I can get a bonus <laughs> largemouth in uh, in there too then then that'll be good but I'm gonna need gonna need two more in the 16 inch range at least um, to have a shot at a check so we'll see
light. There's one. Bad luck to not put them on the board. It's a 13. This bass could go to the chiropractor and get straightened out. He might be like 15 and a half, almost 16 inches. But as is, he's 15. How did I know that that shit was going to happen? No, this is a bass. It's a fucking absolute monster. It's a monster. No, come here. This is going to make for good YouTube. Oh my god. What a fish. It will be an absolute miracle. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> what a mess. Oh baby. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. You just got to stay calm. You just got to stay calm. And 
everything's gonna be fine. You just you gotta you gotta have some faith here and what you're doing. And uh <laughs> oh my god, I got a mess to clean up, but look at that look at that oh my god Fine. 18 and a quarter guys beautiful spotted bass after that just happened this is what's going on here so i get to fix that um should be fun. I think I'm probably just going to cut it off and uh, retie it. So I'll be sitting here for a minute. But that 18.25 really, uh, <laughs> it really helps. So now I just need to get rid of the 14. So that's a four inch cull or so for, yeah, about a four inch cull. So um, need a couple more of those and we'll be in good shape. Not going to cut it. Just a little spot. Oh my God, look at that. It's a giant. Oh my God, no way. There it is. Oh, oh, no, no way. All right, guys, um, it is about, I think, one o'clock, 1230. And uh, last photo at three. Um, Last photo can be taken at three, submitted by four. Um, I am not overly in a great headspace right now just because of losing that fish, that uh, that, I, that bite that I had. Um, you know, I'm like, I, last I looked, I was still top 10, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that haven't submitted yet. Um, there's some people probably up in the mountains that don't have service. Um, so I don't know where I stand. Um, I was in like sixth, I think, but I got to get one more. I got to get rid of that 14 and three quarter. I got to get, uh, I got to replace it with like a 17 if I want to stay in the money um, and cash a check. So we'll see. 
where this heads up, I'm gonna kind of go, uh, I'm not really gonna fish my way back too much. Um, there are a couple spots that I'm gonna, that I wanna hit uh, on my way back to where I started. And then um, I'm gonna probably end my day there. So, or in that area anyway. So we'll see what happens, you know, and uh, hopefully I can get another bite or two and put a couple more fish in the boat and we'll go from there, so. It's not gonna work. A little 12 incher. Not gonna do it, fellas. All right, guys, that is it for the day. I don't know. I feel like I had the bite um, there when I was kind of chasing that wolf pack. I, I feel like I had the bite that would have uh, really made me feel comfortable being in the uh, in the money here, but. You know, couldn't couldn't find another bite that uh, another big bite for the day after that uh, 18. So we'll see how it shakes out. I I would assume I'd probably be top 20, but I don't think I'll I'll be in the money. I think there's there were too many big bags that were up in front of me, and there were too many guys that I know that that had to have sacked them up that uh hadn't posted any fish yet so you know it is what it is i mean it was a great day out here this today and <laughs> that 18 incher just wrapping me all up and then just my stupid error uh, that was that was wild so uh you know you win some you lose some and uh you know i think we uh I think we took it in the teeth today, but you know, what are you gonna do? So, I appreciate you watching. Um, if uh, if anything else cool happens, I'll let you know. But that's about it. Have a good one.